Hi there. Um, today I'm going to make a dress from Gertie Sew's Jiffy Dresses. Um, I chose this because I had bought this cherry fabric and I wanted a pencil shaped dress, but when I was looking for inspiration, I actually came across this dress. I didn't like this single gather point for the waistline. So I made adjustments for both of those. I made my own pocket pattern piece and added it to the dress. And I used shirring for the waist. Um, I had never done shirring in my life. So I also did a mock-up, which you will see in the video. And I'm going to take you through my process. So here we go. I'm just popping in really quick to tell you that if you stick around to the end of the video, I do have some pictures of the finished dress that I took in this area. We drove up above the clouds this morning to the top of the mountain so I could get some cute shots. I am thinking that if I do this one, it will be really cute with my cherry fabric and I might have enough left over to make myself a little tank top or t-shirt or something from it. So I think I do have enough to do a shirt. If I do that, I will probably just post a picture of it on my Instagram. I'm probably not going to do a whole video on that. Do you have something to say about it? Is that all? Strikes by my window, hits my chest right in the morning. Like a warning, could have slept here for days. I felt your heart beat, felt your mouth real, but it's not real. We were close to see the sun, but clouds got in our way. And so All right, I got all my pieces traced and cut out and realized that the dress does not have pockets. I cannot have a dress or pants or anything that doesn't have pockets because it drives me crazy. So I will figure out where I want to add pockets, whether I want patch pockets or side pockets in the seam, and I will be figuring out how I want to add them. But I will be making a mock-up. Um, I'm going to use this fabric. I like to do wearable mock-ups, so if it fits right and I can make it work, I can actually use it as an additional garment. So this will be a, a fun little one, I think. So yeah. Many times when I make a pocket, I start by, I don't know why I don't just make a standard pocket piece, but I start by making sure that I will have enough room to get my hand in without scrunching it. So my hand is about five inches wide in a relaxed form. So I will do six inches so that I have enough for a seam allowance, enough room for a seam allowance. So I'm going to start with making just a straight line that is six inches, and that is for the opening of my pocket. So I have this French curve set that I found on Amazon, and it comes in handy quite often. Basically, this is the overall shape of a bag. Um, I'm going to do five eighths of an inch seam allowance because that is the standard seam allowance. And that way I can 
put this right in my seam. So I will add my seam allowance here. So there we go. Let's mark this one again since my pen didn't work very well. So that is the start of my pocket. Then I don't fully measure. Um, I just kind of guess how deep I want it. <laughs> so I'm going to start the curve of my pocket. At these. And then I like to make sure my phone will fully fit inside. So there is my pocket. I, I guess I do this every time I make a piece that doesn't have a pocket in the pattern because then I just put it with the pattern and use it when I make it again. I actually have a dual purpose in making a mock-up this time. I do not usually make a mock-up. Um, so one, I wanted to use this fabric and I couldn't figure out anything to use it for and I was tired of it sitting in the bottom of my trailer because it's been in there for probably a year and a half. Um, and two, I wanted to see if if the fit actually fit me right because this is the first time I make a pattern from this book. Um, but also, well, I guess I have more than two purposes. And also... I wanted to see how well my pocket fit um, in the dress pattern because I'm really still undecided whether I want to do a patch pocket or a bag pocket. Oh yeah, also a fourth reason, I've never done shirring before. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It could be shearing, but I'm pretty sure it's shirring. And I wanted to practice on this before I try to put it on my cherry fabric. I once was talking to somebody um, about sewing and because she was saying that she wished that she knew how to sew. And she, in all seriousness, asked me how you sew a straight line. And I don't think I answered her correctly. I don't even remember what I said. But really what I should have told her was it's not really about sewing the straight line. It's more about cutting the straight line because if you cut a straight line, you can follow it with your um, seam allowance guide. And that makes it much easier to sew the straight line. So it's really more just about the cutting. If you're all jagged on the edge of your cutting, it's going to be harder to see where you are needing to actually sew. I got the dress all sewn together and now I'm going to try shirring. I have never done it in my life so here goes. From what I understand you hand wrap the elastic shirring thread it goes in the bottom just like the normal thread and I have gone ahead and marked with pins where I want this to go. I was going to use pencil, but every time I tried to make it, uh, mark it on my dress form, it wouldn't mark on the fabric. So I used pins so we can see where we're going. I think I'm going to start with the top of the dress. 
over my machine and I am using the arm of the machine to help keep the dress out of the way. So I have put my dress so that the arm is inside the material between the layers. And from the book, it looks like we will start at one of the underarm seams because there's another dress in there that has shirring in it. And from what I understand, you just sew like normal, but you have the elastic on the bottom. So let's see how this goes. I know it's not the prettiest because it's my first attempt, but it definitely gathered this cotton. So yay, I can do the dress the way I envisioned it and not have to find an alternate route. So this is how it came out. Eh? This was my mock-up. Um, the pockets came out perfect. I'm very glad that I decided for the bag pockets. They fit my phone easily. The darts are in the right place. I didn't have to move them, which sometimes I do, depending on the pattern. Sometimes they're too high or too low. Um, but the darts, they come right across here and end here. So they are in a great spot. And the shirring, I don't know if you can see it in the picture. It came out great. I will make it a little wider. It's only this wide. Um, so I'm going to double it for my cherry dress. I just didn't want to run out of the elastic thread. Um, but otherwise, I think it came out great. And it's great for a summer day or just around the house. Um, yeah, I really like it. I like it more than I thought I would. Okay, so I'm going to show you the inside of my mock-up. Um, I wore this all day yesterday so I could see where any issues were with it. I did notice that it started to curl up under the arm a lot. And I think maybe that's because the lining doesn't come down far enough. Um, and it's not tacked down on the side. So since I already cut my new pieces for the cherry dress, I am going to tack this down on the inside to hopefully prevent some of that curling. I'm also going to raise the bust lining just a little bit so it doesn't pull so much on the bust because where it lands currently, without it being finished, it's right across the front of my chest and it pushes it up so that creates more pushing on the underarm so i'm going to on the cherry one finish it so that the edge is curled under to help try to prevent some of that bunching i'm also going to measure down from the marks, I think there's some marks, there they are. Can't really see them in the camera, I don't think. But I'm gonna measure from the bottom of these marks to the top of where I have the pocket so that I can place the pocket in the same place because this is a really good distance for my pocket from the waistline. So that is what I'm going to do on the cherry to alter the wear a little bit. All right, so here's some more close up images of the dress. There is, as you can see, or you might be able to see through here, um, this is where I added the elastic. Um, and I think that came out pretty well. It was only my second time doing it. The first time I did it just on the mock up. So I think all in all, that turned out really well. But I'm glad I did it this wide. My pockets fit my hand wonderfully. And if I knew where my phone was, I would show you how it fits my phone, but I lose it all the time. The hem of the dress, I actually did the twin needle stitches, which you can kind of 
kind of see there. Get a little focus. There we go, I think. So all in all, the dress came out wonderfully. And I already had a compliment. I went to the library and I was already told, I like your dress. So points for making it yourself. Well, that's my video. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you like the dress because I really like the dress. Um, I was kind of thinking in the future, if you'd like to do a sew along, please put it in the comments. Say yes, you would and maybe tell me what pattern that you would like to do a sew along on. Um, I am always open to trying new patterns and trying uh, different techniques. So if there's something you'd like me to explore, and share with you, um, please let me know. But otherwise, that is my video for today. And I hope you come back and see next week's video and the week after that and the week after that and many more videos. So um, I hope you have a wonderful day. So next week, I do have something special planned. It might end up being more than one video. So I might not get the whole thing put out next week. But I am scaling up this pattern. It is a bust 36. And I need to make it a 48. And when I actually get the scale up done and the pattern pieces right, I am then going to make it and I'm going to make the bodice in this fabric, which is a cotton sateen. And I am going to make the skirt and the jacket in this fabric, which is a brushed cotton. Yeah, so I'm super excited about this project, but it may take me more than one week to get this one done. I can usually get things done in a week, but I don't know about scaling up and mock-ups and fitting and all that stuff. So we shall see, and I will see you later.